What's happening guys, it's Shane here. And in today's video, we are gonna be talking about the most useful degrees. So we're basically gonna be going over majors where the skills that you learn are going to be able to be directly applied to the real world. You know, a lot of degrees have the problem where yes, you learn a lot of skills, but it's a little bit difficult to see how those skills are going to translate to the real world, translate to helping you find a job, or in many cases, help you to start a business or teach you skills that are going to make your personal finance journey easier. So this is going to be a very exciting video, guys. Uh, before we get into it, make sure to gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell. Let's aim for 1,837 likes on this video. All right, so number 10 on the list is going to be economics. And you might be surprised to see this one because it is a liberal arts degree, but this is actually one of the better ones. When you look at the statistics, they are are pretty good and by the way I'm going to be sharing uh, basically my degree ranker in this video uh, this is usually only available to people who you know subscribe to my patreon or buy one of my courses but I am going to be sharing that information in this video so stay tuned for that so with this one the early career pay is fifty six thousand dollars a year and mid-career pay is a hundred and seven thousand that is a salary score of sixty seven point two five which is really good on top of that this is one of the degrees that creates the most millionaires so a lot of people who get economics degrees end up becoming millionaires now that could be for a few different reasons one maybe they start their own business so economics degree will teach you the skills where it would make it more likely that you'll be successful starting your own business two maybe it teaches you some personal finance skills and some investing skills if you know how to read the economy you'll likely make better investing decisions or three it could just be complete correlation people who are interested in economics are you know, tend to be more interested in getting rich as well. But it's probably a little bit of a combination of all three of those things. Now, when it comes to the demand score, the best way to determine this is to look at job sites and then see how many of them list the degree itself in the job listing. So you see how many jobs on indeed.com or monster.com have the keyword economics degree. And in this case, many, many jobs do. So over 20,000, for instance, on monster.com had this listed. That's a demand score of 100 7.4 out of 100 so there's very good demand for an economics degree now the meaning score for this one is relatively low it's about 41 percent uh, but to be honest with you if you're somebody who really loves economics you know you're gonna enjoy yourself so just make sure that you're getting into something that you're actually passionate about and you enjoy doing. And I forgot to mention the number of bachelor grads last year was 30,000. So overall economics degree can be a really good choice and it is pretty useful. Number nine on the list is going to be a physics degree. And last year, 6,000 people graduated with a bachelor's. So for this one, early career pay is 60,000. Mid-career pay is 113,000. That is of course very good. The number of jobs available was about 15,000, which is a demand score of 105. The meaning score is a little bit higher at about 48%. So physics, in my opinion, is a very difficult degree to get. And so for that reason, companies know when they hire physics grads that they're getting somebody who's probably very smart and very hardworking. So you see a lot of companies actually hire physics graduates for positions that have absolutely nothing to do with physics. So for instance, you might graduate with a physics degree and you become a software developer or you go into finance and become a finance analyst. So yeah, even though these first two might not be top of mind when you think of a practical degree indirectly speaking they are both kind of practical number seven on the list is going to be a statistics or a mathematics degree so these are very similar to physics a uh, very difficult degree to get and also just in general it's hard to find people who are really good at statistics or mathematics so it's a relatively rare skill most people hate math so if you're somebody who's good at it you basically just have a competitive advantage so this one starts off at an early career pay of fifty-seven thousand and career pay is 102,000. Now on top of that, there are 58,000 job listings that have mathematics degree as a keyword. And that is a fantastic sign that there is a lot of demand. So the demand score here is 120. 
meaning is 45 percent so you know not too bad and last year for a mathematics degree for instance uh there were 17,000 graduates and the number of graduates can be somewhat important because it basically tells you that it's a brand name degree and that means that a degree that a lot of hiring managers and business owners actually recognize sometimes if you get a really rare degree people just simply don't recognize it and so they'll probably go for the applicant that has the more common degree just because of the fact that they know what they're getting number six seven on the list is going to be marketing and you are probably surprised to see this one now not only is this practical in the real world there's tons of marketing jobs out there but it's also really good if you want to start your own business with this degree you'll make forty eight thousand dollars a year starting out and eighty nine thousand in mid-career pay so that's relatively low compared to a lot of the other salaries on this list but what makes up for it is the demand there are 130,000 job listings that have marketing degree listed in them and that is a demand score of 146 i believe that's the second highest demand out of all the degrees available now the meaning score is relatively low it's 39 percent so make sure that you know what you're getting into if you decide to go for marketing next one on the list number six i'm actually including two different degrees here because they're pretty similar and that is going to be accounting and finance so these two degrees as well as the marketing degree made it on the list of the top 10 degrees that create the most millionaires there are a lot of business degrees on that list and not only are they practical for starting a business but they're going to teach you really good personal finance skills they'll likely help you with investing and making good money decisions and on top of that there is a good amount of demand for jobs so for finance for instance they start off making about fifty-five thousand dollars a year and ninety-eight thousand in mid-career pay and the number of jobs available is ninety-five thousand and that's with thirty-seven thousand people graduating with a bachelor each year so those are really really good ratios that means there's basically three times the amount of jobs available as there is people graduating almost a three to one ratio that is very good and that's a demand score of 133. now the meaning is relatively low at 40 percent so again make sure you know what you're getting yourself into make sure you are passionate about it if you're interested in it but yeah this can be a very good one and I will say if you're somebody who is you know really competitive really driven like an a type personality uh, this can be especially good because finance is one of the uh, industries and one of the degrees uh, in general that creates a lot of like more than just millionaires we're talking like deca millionaires billionaires so yeah there is a ton of opportunity in the finance industry a lot of really cool things happening right now in finance you know you've got all these apps popping up you've got cryptocurrency DeFi. so a ton of opportunity in finance right now number five on the list is going to be management information system so this is basically a combination of business and technology so if we were to kind of categorize this one it would be about 40 percent business 30 percent uh, it which is information technology and then 30 percent computer science now business and technology are two of the most valuable skills that you can possibly learn pretty much every company out there whether it's a big company or a small company is probably looking to hire people who have business skills and or technology skills and it's extremely rare to find somebody who has both so yeah really good one it starts off about sixty thousand dollars a year and mid-career pay is a hundred and five thousand also I think this one is on the up and up just because of the fact that it is relatively new now the number of jobs available is 39,000 with only 7,000 graduates last year that is over a five to one ratio so again extremely good odds and that's a demand score of 113 the meaning is 42 percent so you know decent uh for business degrees that's about average so yeah very practical degree teaches you skills that are high in demand on top of that it probably Probably is going to teach you skills that are going to help you start your own business because let's be honest pretty much all businesses these days especially after the events that happened the last two years are technology based I have had tech issues on this YouTube channel and I've had to actually call people in uh, to help with the issues even though I'm you know pretty decent at it myself I still have had to call people in and they were charging a good amount of money per hour so there's you know definitely a lot of demand for these skills um, it's very practical directly as as well as indirectly this can be a great choice especially if you're somebody who's kind of interested in business you don't want to take a super difficult degree uh, this can be a good choice for you number four on the list is going to be computer science so yeah if you're trying to get to the six-figure level uh, this is probably the most valuable skill that you can
can learn computer programming software development and when you go into the technology industry which you'd likely be working with a computer science degree it's not just the salary and the salary here is pretty good it's sixty eight thousand dollars a year starting out and one hundred and fourteen thousand in mid-career pay but beyond that you have a bunch of other incentives so a lot of the time you'll end up getting bonuses and stock that sometimes can be as much as your base salary and then on top of that there is a ton of amazing benefits in the technology industry we've all seen how you know all these big companies like Netflix and Google treat their employees so with this one there was hundred and fifty three thousand job listings and that's with twenty two thousand graduates that is almost a seven to one ratio so the demand score is I believe the highest on the entire list and that is one hundred and fifty four the meaning is forty one percent so that's about average for technology related degrees and yeah you know I've talked about this one a lot on the channel super solid uh, overall just objectively speaking probably the best degree that you can get but there are a few degrees that in my opinion are more useful more practical number three on the list is going to be industrial engineering so to be honest with you engineering degrees are incredibly useful and incredibly practical they teach you how to solve real world problems you know with something like a mathematics degree you are very good at solving problems but these are kind of like theoretical problems that don't necessarily apply to the real world sometimes they do a lot of the time they do but a lot of the time they don't but an engineering degree is basically just practical problem solving and that's why engineering was actually number one out of all the degrees on the list of degrees that create the most millionaires now to be honest with you the top three are going to have degrees that are very practical um, but there would be more engineering degrees and more health degrees uh, on this list but I wanted to include a bunch of different types of degrees so that everyone in the audience can you know Know, maybe get a degree uh, get something out of this video and find a degree that you know maybe they're interested in because let's be honest not everyone is interested in engineering it's it's very difficult there's a lot of mathematics but yeah industrial engineering it's basically a combination of engineering in business two super super valuable skills for you to know you start off making about sixty seven thousand dollars a year and one hundred and ten thousand in mid-career pay that's a fantastic salary of course the number of jobs available is five thousand and that's a demand score of a hundred and one the meaning score is 46 percent so again about average for engineering degrees but there's one other engineering degree that's just a little bit more practical than this one it's an extremely flexible degree you see these types of engineers working in so many different industries with so many different types of companies in many different types of roles that's right mechanical engineering is number two on the list so the early career pay here is 66,000 and 110,000 in mid-career pay the number of jobs available is 15,000 and that's a demand score of 105 so yeah mechanical engineering extremely flexible skill set there's so many different ways that you can go with it it's not one of the higher paying engineering degrees, but it's one of the most flexible. And to be honest with you, this applies to a lot of different engineering degrees. They do tend to be pretty practical and pretty useful. Lots of companies out there like to hire engineers, even for positions that have nothing to do with their degree, because again, they know that they're getting somebody who's very hardworking and very intelligent. Number one on the list, and this is going to be number one by a mile, is going to be health related degrees and just as an example we're going to be using nursing so this is nursing of course but it applies to so many different degrees out there it, basically anything that's health related is incredibly useful and incredibly practical one thing about a lot of degrees is you'll get the degree and then you very rarely end up working in a field that's even remotely related to the subject of the degree so you might get a mathematics degree and then end up working in business or end up becoming a programmer or working in finance but the great thing about health related degrees is they generally are a pretty straight track to a specific career so if you get a nursing degree you're going to become a nurse if you get an MD you're going to become a medical doctor and so to be honest with you this list would probably be full of healthcare related degrees and engineering degrees would probably make it in there as well but I wanted to include a bunch of different subjects just because I know not everyone 
anyone is interested in health or engineering. But yeah, with this one, it starts off about $60,000 a year and 79,000 in mid-career pay. The number of jobs available is 99,000, and that's a demand score of 135. The meaning is also off the charts. You see this for lots of different health-related degrees. It's about 83%, and meaning score tends to be an indication of your happiness in the long term, right? So it doesn't necessarily make you super happy in the short term, like eating ice cream or playing a video game, but in the long run, it brings meaning to your life because you know that you're basically helping other people out and you're making a difference in society. So yeah, 83%, very good. Uh, health degrees in general have very high meaning scores. Hope you enjoyed this video. Check my others out right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, etc. that you have on the video, and I will see you next time. Thank you.